3 was a big change for EA's blockbuster franchise. It hacked away a lot of the series' restrictions, making for a more open, natural experience most would agree resulted in a more enjoyable game. So how to move beyond the launch of a product lauded by critics and snatched up by millions of fans? Well, this is The Sims, so the answer is expansion packs, of course. World Adventures marks the first in what's sure to be a long line of expansions for The Sims 3. In addition to delivering plenty of new items and designs, World Adventures opens up the game even further, letting players visit new spots in China, Egypt, and France. With these new locations come a range of new activities. You'll also be able to chat with the native Sims, who will direct you to new content and even give you quests. In order to complete these quests, you'll need to dive headfirst into the most interesting aspect of World Adventures, tomb exploration, where you'll brave traps, battle mummies, and solve puzzles to win treasure. Things start off simply, with basic challenges involving triggers and doors. You can pick through piles of debris to uncover staircases and switches. It pays off to investigate each dungeon room carefully, and mousing over wall sections will often reveal hidden entrances. You'll also find other dungeon staples, like pressure plates and movable statues that need to be positioned correctly to progress. Of course, the big payoff is treasure. Sometimes you'll just find ordinary objects, but sometimes you'll find money, jewels, and even priceless artifacts. As you complete the easy dungeons, the game begins to string quests together and ramps up the challenge. You'll delve into tombs with more than one path of progression, and with this added complexity comes added danger. You can get fried in electricity traps and singed in fire if you're not careful. There will usually be a mechanism to disarm threats, but if you like a real challenge, you can opt to hop over traps and charge through to get to the end. This isn't always the best move, but sometimes it works. Mummies might also attack you while you're exploring, and if you're unprepared, it's possible to get cursed. The good news, though, is that by heading to China and getting some martial arts practice in, you might just be able to fend off an attack from the undead, instead of falling victim to their dusty strikes. There's a lot new going on in World Adventures, from exploring new terrain, capturing the sights with your camera, and sipping on some homemade wine, to getting down and dirty in tombs across the world. It's interesting to see what EA is doing here, adding to the traditional virtual dollhouse appeal of The Sims while expanding the amount of structured content it offers. We'll see how it all turns out this November when World Adventures travels to the open market.